DLC Network here at CES 2020, and we're at the Toto booth here with Bill, who has some new, uh, really exciting news about IoT and what Toto is doing to bring some really advanced features to venues such as casinos and airports and well, just about everything else commercial. Yeah, James, so it's really exciting because we have this IoT technology that we've now deployed into airports across the country, and in fact, we're running in Hartsfield Airport as we speak. And right behind us on this dashboard is the actual dashboard of Hartsfield Airport right now. We're able to track that activity from Las Vegas all the way back to Atlanta, this Georgia. This is live right here. This is live right now. And this ability of being able to track, we know with clarity that right now there is an issue with toilet paper that needs to be replaced in uh, stall number one, tissue paper number one, in Hartsfield Airport on B23. Now, here is the trick. We want to put IoT into the marketplace to help this Georgia Pacific total combination come together. We've partnered with Georgia Pacific. They take care of the toilet paper and the paper towels. And our toilets, urinals, faucets, and soap dispensers all have a sensor on them to actually track the consumption and usage with every single hour of every single day. Now, that gives us the opportunity to actually track usage patterns. And through that usage pattern, when an alert comes up like this toilet paper replacement, it will show up on their custodian's handheld device. They can then go in and resolve that before it runs out. Okay. The consumer experience is dramatically better. Wow. So you're seeing everything, every single stall individually, so you're not just changing everything out in the bathroom at one point. They can come in individually and just say, this just one stall needs to be refreshed. They go in there, do their job, they leave, and they don't have to be back in that bathroom until something else happens. Exactly and right. Saving. And, and, and James, what's really cool about this, you know, we had some really, about five or six things that we thought would be really good outcomes of this engagement, of this, putting this into this space. Toilet paper consumption and efficiency and productivity and better. But you know what? We had several unintended consequences that were actually quite delightful. One of those was the janitorial crew. Typically, they're the, the folks that get overlooked. And, you know, you come in and you use the bathroom, they're kind of, you know, they're hanging around. But what we have now is they have that handheld device. They're now enabled. They're empowered to do a better job because they have the opportunity to be proactive in their engagement to make the solution work. And that consumer experience is heightened dramatically. The other unintended consequence was we can now do a safety check. We will ping someone when they come into a stall, and then we ping them when they go out and flush the toilet. But we have sometimes a ping that occurs, and then no one comes out for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we get a safety check. Please go do a welfare check on stall 10 in bathroom B23. It looks like someone may be distressed. And by doing that, we have the opportunity to actually be aware of consumer wellness. Is that is cool, isn't it? It is very cool. And, and, and what's interesting, the actual third unintended consequence, when we design bathrooms as, as a society, we've designed them off of architectural standards that are a little bit old, and what's interesting, we now have actual empirical data on usage patterns with the kind of demographic that we have at an airport. We are now redesigning the bathroom space. What used to be a requirement for 12 stalls can now be done with nine stalls. That's a big change, and you can reconfigure the entire bathroom space to better accommodate and give a better experience as a result of true, actual data being exhibited through this IoT solution. That's pretty cool, actually. So you're it's, designing the bathroom space around the venue itself, and not just throwing the bathroom in and going, well, we're probably going to have this many people. You can actually design it specifically to the exact needs. No wasteful space, no wasteful uh, uh, any of the stuff that you have going on in the bathroom for tissues or anything That's right, like that. that's right, that's right. You got the welfare, you got a lot of things going on right here. And uh, does this also apply to uh, Toto in general in terms of this helps out, like this is helping the airport. Yep. Does this help out Toto? Is Toto collecting information on this as well to help improve on this as it rolls further? Absolutely. And so it gives us a chance to actually track the consumption of water, number one, but also the usage pattern. We have in some of the bathrooms at Hartsfield, we'll have 2,800 flushes per day. That's a lot of flushes, that right? A lot. And we also can track the hours that that occurs, and so we can actually have an understanding of how that product is. We can track the battery consumption and all of the activities for that space. Now, this is an important play, not only for airports, but casinos. We're actually doing some data testing in some casinos. We're in Vegas, right? 
We also are doing it for some retailers and some large stores. The opportunity is almost endless. Class A buildings in New York City are putting these in. It's an opportunity to actually have a great understanding of what's going on in your building and better incorporate that user experience into the bathroom opportunities. This is exciting. This is really exciting. I, I, I can already picture a number of hotels and casinos right here in Las Vegas that could really use something like this. Absolutely. So this is exciting. It's, it's great to see this happening and uh, it, I'm sure you already have some beta tests going around uh, in various places. We won't discuss where or anything like that. that. That's right. But a I'm few, sure it's been working out pretty good. I can already, just by looking at this, I can see it's working pretty good. You know, so it'll be interesting to actually be able to walk into the bathroom and immediately start picking things out going, hey, I know what's going on here. <laughs> I've seen the video online. I've seen what what you'd said about this, and this is great. This is the future. It's uh, a great uh, outlook of, of what's to come in terms of IoT just about anywhere. So it yep. just proves that no matter where you go, IoT is there to make your experience better. Well, and, and that's a great point because, you know, James, when you start thinking about it, deployment of IoT, we want to make sure that tech is not there just for the sake of tech. Please give me tech yep. that is enabling, that is improving our lives and not maybe oh, endangering it or causing a problem. Yeah. If we can make our lives better, more enriched, and a much better experience, we want to make sure that tech is doing its job with you not knowing that you've been teched. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what we need. Well, there you have it, everybody. Thank you so much. Again, this is Toto. Go check them out on their website at toto.com. Uh, they have so much to offer, especially not just in the commercial aspect, but for your house as well. You've seen plenty of uh, interviews and content with us in the past on PLCnetwork.net and as well as all of our other avenues. Thank you so much. Thanks, James. This has been Enjoy the show. Have a great show. Oh, you know I will. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.